Why aren't vagrancy laws enforced? I was going to do a video on the open border crisis of the Biden administration, but I was just... Thank you, baby. Put on the table, please. But I wanted to relate something about the homeless crisis as well. This morning, I drove my daughter to the Dollar Tree to get some Valentine's cards for her school. And camped outside next to his bicycle was a homeless person next to the entrance, wrapped up in a blanket. And I went in and talked with the clerk about this. She said the manager had already notified him to move on, and they had called the police. But it got me to thinking, why aren't vagrancy laws enforced in the country anymore in 2024? We have laws against vagrancy on the books in all of the 50 states of the United States of America. And yet, homeless people are not arrested. And I believe this is tied to the fact that we have gotten rid of state institutions, such as insane asylums. In the old days, when I was a child, you would have police come by and question somebody for vagrancy. They would pick them up, take them to the local jail, and book them. This person would then be examined to determine whether they were genuinely mentally ill, in which case they were taken to the local insane asylum for processing. And it could also include people who were having substance abuse problems. Take them to the insane asylum, get them cleaned out of their drugs. But if they were neither of these things, if they were an able-bodied adult who simply chose to be homeless, then they were booked and sentenced to jail by the judge. This is how you reduce the incidence of homelessness. Today in states like California, you have a political class that has actively encouraged able-bodied Americans to adopt homelessness as a valid lifestyle choice. Homelessness should never be encouraged by society or politicians as a valid lifestyle choice. The reason is you will suddenly have far more homeless than you know what to do with, which is the case in every Democrat-run state in the country, but also in states that are considered traditional blue or Republican states because they still have big cities run by local Democrat politicians who want to have as many homeless people as possible. No one has ever talked out of homelessness. No one has ever told it's wrong. And I believe this gets back to the fact that no matter what state you live in, you should have police with the power to enforce existing vagrancy laws to pick up vagrants and either escort them out of town or find out what mental problems they have and get them treatment. I'll give you another incident from last year. I took my daughter to the local McDonald's. Now, I've been going to this local McDonald's since 1989. That's how long I've lived in this town. And yet, for the first time in my life, we had a near-naked homeless man standing at the counter demanding free food. Now, luckily, my daughter went right to the Happy Meal sample display to see what Happy Meals they had. But I walked up to the counter and I couldn't believe my eyes. The homeless man was surrounded by four or five male McDonald's employees. They were not allowed to touch him or force him out of the store. They would get fired. They would lose their jobs according to corporate McDonald's policy. That would be the same corporate McDonald's that donates to your local Democrat politician and perpetuates these policies. But they would be fired if they put their hands on this man. But I looked at this homeless man. His pants were completely down, and his bare naked ass was right there in front of my daughter at this McDonald's counter. And I lost it. I got up in his face. I put my finger in his face, and I said, How dare you stand here in my McDonald's and expose your bare ass to my daughter? There are children here, for God's sake. Get your ass out of here now. This is something the employees at McDonald's were not allowed to say to this man. But I got in his face and gave him the authority, all the authority I could muster, as a father and as a citizen of the United States, to get out. I've never had to deal with that at my own McDonald's. 
because we're, we don't live in a big city. This isn't Atlanta, Georgia, or Baltimore, or New York City, Chicago, Philadelphia, Seattle, some dump in Oregon or California. This was my small town, and yet we have been flooded with an amazing increase in homeless people of able-bodied able adults who could otherwise support themselves, but they were told by society that it's okay to be homeless and they can do that for the rest of their lives. Bullshit. Vagrancy laws need to be enforced. Police departments need to have the support of the public and city councils to enforce vagrancy laws. These homeless need to either go to jail, be forced into a substance abuse program. If they don't, if they refuse, put them in jail again. If they are truly mentally ill and something that society cannot correct, then you put them in an insane asylum. But their insane asylum should not be the sidewalk in front of your child's elementary school. Their insane asylum should not be the sidewalk in front of your local dollar store. Their insane asylum should not be pooping on the sidewalk in front of your house. This is what liberal policies have brought us, and it's wrong. Either we have vagrancy laws or we don't. Well, we certainly have vagrancy laws. They're just not being enforced. And this is something we need to fix as a nation, or we won't have a nation in 10 years. Thank you.